hey guys welcome back to my channel and this video i'm gonna be making this cutesy little dress look at this sketch that i made it wasn't looking good at the beginning but pulled through at the end but this is the dress that i'm gonna be making it's like cutesy little picnic dress and this one the blouse will be like this and the skirt will flare from here rather than the waist where your skirts usually flare from so and i'm gonna add puff sleeves and it's gonna look so cute i've never made a dress before so hopefully this turns out well i have high hopes because i really like this fabric and i don't want to mess it up i don't think i will but this is what the fabric looks like and this is the lining and if you guys remember from one of my outfits of the fashion show like the kids outfits I used this, I bought this fabric for that kid's langa, and this is what that kid's langa looks like. So cute, and I literally have a lot of fabric left over, so I, I think I can easily make a dress out of it, so let's see if that's possible or not. I think it will be, like, look at this. This is a lot, and I'm also trying to be a little bit more, like, towards the sustainable side because i don't really want to be throwing away scraps you know and also even the scraps that i do get when i'm making my outfits i store them and i'm like thinking of what to do with the scraps so if you guys have any ideas on how to like re-upcycle <laughs> those scraps definitely let me know like comment down below let me know if you guys have any ideas of any like kind of garments that i could make with that definitely i'll make it because i don't want to be wasteful like that's out we left that in 2023 anyways i also have the lining even though you guys saw like patches of the fabric you're on my youtube and youtube gets exclusive content that tiktok and instagram doesn't necessarily get so you guys are my people anyways this is what the lining looks like i know it looks like a, a little bit dark on here i don't know why but it's like this it's kind of it is a little bit darker red it's not like the bright red but it goes really well under yeah, it goes really well under the fabric. Look how cute this is. Oh my god. So hopefully this will turn out amazing. And it will. I'm manifesting. It will turn out amazing. And the closure for this dress, I'm going to make it a long zip in the back. Like those really long ones. So you can just slide it on and go. You know what I mean? So let's make this dress. And yeah. Come on this journey with me. Okay, slight change of plans. Um, after looking at the lining fabric, there's not enough. There's not enough of this for me to make like a, a skirt. And I'm not just gonna have like someone pretty transparent, you know what I mean? So, oh. So I found another red fabric in my little sewing closet. This is a little bright, but under the fabric, it looks good. So... We're gonna use this instead of the darker one and maybe it'll be even better than that original. I started off by patterning as I usually do and I usually pattern on the lining fabric because this other fabric or like the transparent one that has the stars on it, it's literally so translucent, can't write anything on it. So I pattern on the lining and then I cut that out and then I use that pattern of the lining to cut out the this translucent like star net fabric. I don't know what to call it, it's just like... A netted fabric yeah so and then the way i made this dress was i attached the lining pieces together first and then i attached the netted fabric you guys remember how i wanted to add puff sleeves on this dress yeah and i've never made puff sleeves like literally ever this is my first time so i'm gonna do that off camera because i feel like recording kind of like stresses me out mentally a little bit <laughs> so i'm just gonna i already cut like one sleeve but i'm gonna do that off camera and then i'll show you guys like me attaching it which shouldn't be hard but yeah uh, that's what i'm gonna do okay the puff sleeves weren't that hard to make so i just did like a loose stitch where i was supposed to do the gathers and then i gathered it like this and then i did the same for the netted fabric as well and then i just sewed them together and then i sewed that onto the dress that i made and honestly it wasn't that bad i just had to concentrate a little bit look at this freaking hunchback anyways here, I'm just hemming the sleeves so that they look neat. This is what it's looking like so far. Super comfortable in the back. Ah. Gosh, my arm. Hold on. This is what the back looks like. So cute. The skirt's gonna like fan out from here. And it's gonna look super cute. 
then I got to work on the skirt. I did the same like gathering thing that I did with the sleeves. And then I attached it to the skirt lining. And then once I attached it to the lining, I then attached it to the dress as well. And then I also added a strip of fabric in the middle just so that the net doesn't itch when you wear the dress. And it looks all professional and stuff. And then I also added the zipper. Here's a little close up of it. And then I just kind of hemmed and you know added lining made everything look neat and cute so that the dress can be ready this is what the lining looks like i put that like all throughout the dress and she's done <laughs> she's finally done look at this how cutesy cutesy is this omg look at it literally look at it because i'm about to put it on I'll show you guys what it looks like guys this is what it looks like oh my god Look at this. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, she's stunning. A little 360. She's so cute. You know what? Like, I feel like I'm in the Archies. You know? What is the freaking American Riverdale? Betty or Veronica? I feel like them. Betty or Ver not Veronica? Betty Cooper. I, I feel like I'm giving. Mm, I want to say Veronica. Yeah, I want to say Veronica. She's like spicy, you know? But yeah, this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was something different that I did. Usually I do langas, you know, all that traditional stuff. As much as I love doing that, I loved doing this as well. I want to do something a little different, you know? And I love it. I'm so glad it turned out the way it did. It looks so cute. Oh my god. And the back, the back, a little low cut moment, you know what I mean? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out all the stuff in the description below. Bunch of cool links, go literally check all of them out. Subscribe, like, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, this is what the outfit like, looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next project.